So they tweeted out something. A hefty chunk of news before we head into the weekend. Here's a sneak peek at some of the changes making their way to the upcoming PTB. Oh, and by the way, then they felt the need to drop some fucking cosmetics six hours ago. Bitch, fuck you. Fix your game. This is why I ain't bought no cosmetic. You see, they do some dumb shit. They gonna throw some cosmetics in our face like I'm gonna buy it. Get the, get the fuck out of here. Fix your game first. All right, we're gonna click on their, their, their bit link. All right, so chapter 16 review. With the upcoming mid chapter, we are kicking off a new initiative to review the previously released chapter, the killer their perks and the survivors perks and make any changes that are needed. The first to receive this treatment is the Silent Hill chapter. Everybody still following me? Y'all here still? Okay. We feel that it is important to see how new content plays out in real scenario before committing to balance changes. Okay? Cool. Something that seems overpowered. Okay. Okay. Something that seems overpowered upon release can end up being a non-issue once people have a chance to play against it and develop the counterplay. Likewise, something that seems underpowered might have find a niche once people have the time to experiment with the new builds and playstyles. Other times, the playstyles that crop up over time can turn out to be frustrating or unfun to play against. Okay. With this in mind, we plan to fuck that. This is this ain't talking much. Okay, the executioner changes. Are we here? Executioner changes. From watching pyramid head matches over the past few months, we have noticed that many people will opt to only use the punishment of the damned attack at the pallets and windows. Isn't that the fucking smart way to do that? You think I'm about to do that in the middle of chase when that shit takes two hours to fucking use? No shit. That's the only time people use that. So let's re let's rewind that. From watching Pyramid Head matches over the past few months, we have noticed that many people will opt to only use his punishment of the damned attack at pallets and windows. Like I said, that's what the fuck you're supposed to use it at. Where the survivor is locked into the interaction and unable to attempt to dodge the attack. To address this and make gameplay more dynamic, we are making two changes, okay? Here it goes! They're going to increase the delay after canceling rights of judgment before a pyramid head can attack. Aight! What up, Blue Spirit? So what that means is, you know how most people use pyramid head to mind game? Like, you act like you're gonna use your damn attack and then you don't and you get a hit? Well, now, if you try to do that, uh, you have a cooldown, so basically, you're fucked. They're gonna have time to make that pallet now, okay? All right, that's what that means. The reason for this change is to add a downside to canceling your power at each pallet or window. Currently, the survivor is left with two choices. Vault the window, slash drop the pallet and get hit with the punishment of the damned, or continue running and get hit with a basic attack. Aw, survivor, you have no counterplay. Aw. By increasing the delay before you can do a basic attack after canceling the rights of judgment, the survivor gets a small window to avoid an attack. Aw, game is allowing them to get something so they can avoid a hit. Similar to the Huntress or Demogorgon. Interesting. Decreasing the delay after attacking with the punishment of the dam. Okay. Missing an attack with punishment of the dam can feel very punishing. The cooldown after attacking is fairly long, which gives the survivor a lot of time to gain this. Okay, at least they're not stupid about that. Cool, 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 cool. Now we have some stupid perk changes. I don't care about the trailer tournament. Y'all can read that on your own time. Uh, any means necessary, which is the pallet perk. Uh, you can now, it's reduced to 60 seconds. Cool, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Slippery meat. Added an increased chance to self-unhook. Thanata fucking phobia. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are y'all ready for this shit? All right. Thanata phobia. Removed heal speed penalty. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear, did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? I don't think you know. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. In removed, removed it. Chat removed, not in removed heal speed penalty. Did you hear that? Everybody hear me? Hello? You heard that? They remove the heal speed penalty and increase penalty on other actions. So I guess no that that like so they increased it for for gins and shit. The natophobia is meant to encourage the survivors to heal in order to avoid the penalty from the perk. However, it currently reduces healing speed as well, creating a lose-lose situation no matter what the survivors do. This prevents us from making the perk. Wait, well, hold on. This prevents us from making the perk stronger as it would quickly get overbearing. 
Can anybody tell me when they ever had thanatophobia? Can anybody ever tell me when they had thanatophobia on as a survivor and that shit really affected them? Well, let's be realistic. Unless it's like a Forever Freddy with dying light and fucking... Uh, what's that shit called? His little jump rope and all that bullshit. Thanatophobia really isn't that effective. Which is why you don't see a lot of people in Turney use it. Because it's not really all of that. You have to like add sloppy butcher to make it even so like it's it's not all that exact. Bring a fucking med kit and you're good. Not to mention, why would they nerf that shit as soon as they made a perk where if people are injured, you get a healing speed increase? Did they forget about that? Are they stupid? Did they forget about that? Hey guys, we just made a perk where the more people are injured, the great the faster the healing speed is. You have a perk to counter that. Not even inner strength. Not even inner strength. Actually, inner strength does work though. That is true. But they just released that perk that came with a uh, what's that fucking? I don't read that shit. Desperate measures. You refuse to fail even during your darkest hour. For each injured, hooked, or dying survivor, increase the speed of your healing and un unhook actions by ten percent. For each injured, hooked, or dying survivor. Increase the speed of your healing and unhook actions by 10%. Do you see this shit? Do you see this shit? We have that. You have Bontany knowledge. You have will make it. You have options. But hey, let's uh let's let's uh just let, let's let's dumb it down for survivors and make it easier. Typical, 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 typical. Alrighty, so we're gonna live forever. Look at this shit. Like look at the oh you stupid motherfuckers, bro. Are you okay? So they removed the healing speed penalty for thanatophobia, right? Now we're gonna live forever. Guess what they did to this perk, y'all? Added increased healing speed when healing a dying survivor. You're adding healing s stuff to perks, but then you fuck up the nanophobia and take. I, I don't. I don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're added increased healing speed when healing a dying survivor. Gotcha. Pop goes the weasel. Decrease the time the perk stays activated to 45 seconds. They're gonna remove the healing speed. Pop goes the weasel. Decrease the time the perk stays activated to 45 seconds. Now let's let's hear their reasoning for doing this, okay? Let's hear the reasoning. It's gotta be logical, right? It's gotta be logical. Okay. Originally, Pop Goes the Weasel had a 30-second cooldown, which felt too short to get much use out of. We later increased this to 60 seconds. This felt much better to use, but it will wound up being a little too lenient lenient. Let's hold up. This felt much better to use, but it it wound up being a little too lenient and allowed killers to find and kick a generator at their leisure, often after chasing and downing a different survivor. Huh? What? And downing a different survivor. Oh! You know what's funny? D strike is 60 seconds. You know what? That's 60 seconds. I, I think it's a little too lenient that I can go find them on a generator after downing a different survivor and still get decisively striked, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's a little bit uh, of a lenient, if you ask me. Survivors can uh, get unhooked, go to a generator. I find them at that generator after fucking downing a different survivor and still get fucking D-striked. Then that's not a little too lenient for me. That's still 60 fucking seconds. We're not going to talk about that, though, huh, devs? Huh, you fucking devs? Okay, but their reasoning. To add some urgency back into the perk, we are splitting the difference in changing the time to 45 seconds at tier 3. This way you'll have enough time to get to the generator you want to kick, but you'll want to kick the generator before committing to a chase with another survivor. Jesus, devs. Hey, y'all see why I ain't bought no fucking cosmetics in like a good couple months. These stupid motherfuckers. Now we have a little bit of the Macmillan Estate update. I'm not gonna lie. The new Macmillan looks kind of fucking lit, though. I like how I like how it looks graphically. I like that. That shit actually doesn't look bad. All right, cool. But now that you've heard the bullshit, how? What's your opinions, guys? What is your opinions? Let me know what you guys think. Hey, let's add a perk that automatically is reverse thanatophobia while also nerfing thanatophobia. <laughs> They have got to pop goes the weasel. Now, 45 seconds, like I said, the only problem with it being 45 seconds is say the gin is all the way across the map. 
which realistically you're not going to be able to put pop on that gen anyways or protect those shit with pop because yeah the problem i'm mad at is the fact that you nerf pop goes the weasel to 45 seconds because you say killers are too lenient with it but you keep d strike at 60 fucking seconds that's why i can't be no fog whisper i i'm gonna say what the hell i gotta say that is stupid 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 that's my thing you literally made a reverse thanatophobia and then you decide to nerf thanatophobia it's not like the Natafoy was even OP at all any goddamn way. Unless you're like a Freddy with Sloppy Butcher and his other slowing slowing out. This shit was not all that. And like I said, it's the principle of the matter. You like you nerf stupid shit to make killers work harder, but you still have D Strike. That's a fucking problem. I feel it. I, like I said, I feel it. Cause the Pyramid Head, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I do get it because it's like it is like you don't ever know what the fuck Pyramid Head finna do. It, it is hard to play against Pyramid. I will admit that. Like I said. My only problem with it is just I, they, I feel like they make survivors so brain dead fucking easy. There's like no challenge. It's like when they have a challenge in the game, shit gets fucking nerfed or they make a perk to help them. It's ridiculous. That's how I felt with the ruined shit. Honestly, just remove D-Strike. I'll be the happiest motherfucker alive and I won't ever complain.